everybody. I have a small Tuesday morning haul, but I got good stuff. And then I have a little tutorial about some things I learned about the new flock transfer sheets from DecoFoil. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I got these crosses. They're three dimensional. You get 12 of them. Jolie's, there's the skew. I do cards for my church. I thought, how pretty would that be? Even on the, well, I don't guess it could go on the envelope, but they're so pretty. Okay, so I got that. I got this Palm Beach ephemera pack because I love the flamingos and the pineapples. And there's a skew on that. And then this new company that Tuesday morning has started getting the paper in. They had the ephemera. Look at these butterflies. And a dollar nineteen. There's eleven butterflies in there. I think they're just beautiful. I haven't opened this one up, but because the other stuff is so beautiful. And for a masculine card, you know, there's turtles in there. 94 pieces for a dollar forty-nine. That's a lot of ephemera. I have a scan and cut, which I absolutely love, but I can't do anything for a dollar and forty-nine cents. Come on. And it's got glitter. Pretty good. Okay. Here's another one. 63 pieces. There's a skew. Beautiful flowers and bugs and critters. So pretty. And then this one has got 90 pieces in it. And I wish that it said on the back, had it like an example of what all's in there, but it doesn't. But anyway, it has happy birthday and um, flowers. Butterfly, more butter. Oh, there it shows. Ah! Okay, then. There you go. There's what's inside. Bless, you're my sunshine. Cuteness. Just a note to say thanks. Oh, those are so nice. Okay, so then let me show you these. Oh, look at that. These are beautiful. And you can't cut these out. You couldn't fussy cut them. If somebody gave you the piece of paper, you know how long it would take you to cut out 63 pieces of anything? A long time. Okay, and then here's another one. This one might be my favorite because look. Ooh, wee. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And you know, I'm from Tennessee. Ours is the Tennessee state flower. Although, my granddaughter is Lily, and so, you know, that takes precedence in this house. Okay. And then I found this Crafter's Companion, six acrylic stamps for $2.19. It's an acorn house. Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> and it shows right there what all's in there. And the lamp post is little acorns. Mm -hmm. Cute and a fairy. You could use these things for a lot of different things. And I got this wander pad because the other day I showed that I hauled these, which are the stamps that go with it. So, those will make some cute masculine cards. And then I got Yes Please. And I've seen this hauled. I'm sure you guys have seen it too. There's the skew. But it's got really pretty gold foil and black, which you can do anything with, I think, put with anything in it. It's beautiful. Okay, so that is my Tuesday morning haul. I'm going to move this out of the way. Next. Okay, so Deco Full came out with these flock transfer sheets. And I thought, oh my goodness, because I love their foil. And I, I think any kind of texture that you can ever add to a card or, you know, scrapbook page, just add so much fun to it. So, um, Blitzy is who got them first, as far as I know. And so that's who I ordered them from. And I ordered every color because, you know, that is who I am. So anyway, it comes in white and green and blue 
and yellow and black and pink and orange and purple. Okay, so um, I've watched several tutorials on how ThermoWeb recommends that you use this stuff. And so they say use their double-sided foam um, to back it with, um, which is fine. But I already had some double-sided foam that I think I probably got at Walmart. Anyway, okay, so I cut this green one out. It's a peep look. I've shown this dye before. It came from Anna Marie, no, Gina, Mar Gina Marie, Gina Marie. Um, and I absolutely love it. And I love peeps for Easter. So anyway, I cut this out. And then you just draw, you don't have to, because it actually punches out the eyes and the nose. But I just took a little black marker and made his eyes and nose. And I just think he's precious. But the problem was, the colors are not necessarily peep colors. <laughs> if there is a category for peep colors. We'll say there is. So, I thought, well, wonder what would happen if I take the white and use my Distress Oxide and my Handy Dandy Dauber. And look, voila, custom peep. Then you can take your Dauber and go around the outside edge. And it's squishy and so cute. And it looks just like a peep. I love it. And so, I thought I'd show you, through trial and error, how I came across this. Here's one that I got that I just glued a little cotton tail on the back of. Now, this one, I inked it before I cut it out. And so, apparently the moisture made the um, flocking not stick as well. But, I mean, it still pretty much looks like a peep to me. Um... And this one, I embossed, check that out, a flocked embossed peep. The best. Okay. So, this, this set of rabbits here is cut out of this double-sided foam, which we all have. And then, basically what you do is then you cut out from your flock transfer sheet the same shape. And then, you just adhere it to the back, like so. You know, pull the sticky off, stick the flocking down, run it through your die cutting machine, and pull the backing off, and you've got a flocked whatever, bunny in my case. And, and then, you can color it whatever color you want it to. So, I've, I had already made all these eggs, and I thought, I'm going to make an Easter basket. Here's the Easter basket I made out of a egg die, and then I just laid the smaller one on top of it, cut the handle out, ran it through an embossing folder, um, dabbered over it with some, what's it called? Twigs, something twigs, distress ink. And so now, my thought is, I'm gonna get some little shred and glue along the top side of this, and then put these little eggs in here with my little tie bow on it. Put it on any kind of background. Happy Easter, peeps. You could make a tag. You could not attach it to anything. Just tie a bow on it and give it to somebody and write a message on the back. I mean, you know, your mind goes crazy. So anyway, yesterday when I got this, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to show you guys. And because I know how I am and I got like for instance, obviously, I got a little carried away and I bought every color. When, in, in reality, I could have just bought the white and made it whatever color I wanted to. Now, I know Deco Fool doesn't want you to probably do that because they want you to buy every color like I did. But, and the colors are beautiful. They really are. But, um, you know, if you want to save some money and you like this flocked look, and I think it's fabulous, and that and that you can emboss it with anything, any embossing folder, and it holds. I did this last night. Still fuzzy, still adorable. 
my granddaughter came in and she she said, ee, it's a peep. You made a peep. How did you make a peep? And so I haven't colored around the edge of this yet, but I'm going to maybe use spring green of my Distress Oxides and go around the edge. Even though I don't mind it so much being white on the edge. But, you know, if you did, you could. And this one actually is two layers of the foam. So you could pretty much make them as fat as you wanted to. You could really actually make them the thickness of a peep if you were so inclined. But then somebody might want to eat it and that might not be good. Okay. So anyway, that's my video. I hope that you enjoyed my haul and I hope y'all can find some of that ephemera. It's just the best bargain I've seen in ages. And I hope you like my peeps because I really like my peeps. And, you know, like I said, you can do it with other, it doesn't have to be a peep. It could be a rabbit. It could be a word. It could be anything. It could be the eggs, you know. Um, so, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. See you next time.